Hey everybody, Mr. Vloxel here. Today we're going to be showing you how to mount your Counter-Strike Source textures into Gary's Mod. Now, if you already have Counter-Strike Source, it's going to be fairly easy. If you don't, there's a couple other steps that we have to take in order to do that. Now, anybody that has ever played Dark RP must know the map RP Downtown. We all know how there's a bunch of airs around and there's that black and pink texture that just causes a complete headache and eyesore and this video is going to show you guys how to solve that issue whether you have counter-strike source or you don't and this is the stuff that i mean where it is a ginormous eyesore and just a headache and it makes the games not so fun or the service not so fun when you gotta play on you know maps like this so we're going to show you how to do this so what you're going to do is in the description below there is a link and in this link you're going to see a bunch of uh content now what you're going to want to download is the very first one in the top left if it's the same way for you guys uh it's going to say counter-strike source game content now this is a pretty decent download because it is a bunch of textures and models and so on but depending on where you are whether in europe or usa you're going to hit that server now i'm not going to download it because i did download it prior to starting this video and basically once you download it and it's finished it's going to be in this zip folder right here css content gmod content we're going to open this I can bring it up into here. I'm going to shrink the screen though. So now we got it right here. If you open this, you're going to see materials, models, particles, sound, and so on. As you can see, download from gmodcontent.com. Now, this is completely safe to download. There's no files in here that run or anything. This is just strictly models, textures and so on, and it is a lot of them. Now, we're gonna wanna export this. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna copy it to our desktop. Now, it might take a few because this is a fairly decently wide uh, file. Uh, as you can see, it does say 1.23 gigs right now. And, that is going to take a minute, so we will be right back and wait until that is done. All right, now that the uh, content is fully extracted to your desktop, we're going to go into, we need to find your Gary's Mod server files. So, me, they're stored on my C drive. I'm going to go to Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps common and you're gonna look for Gary's mod once you're in Gary's mod you're gonna just take this folder and you're gonna sit it right in there and it's gonna take a second once it's in there you can rename this folder just so the name's smaller like CSS for example now we're gonna go into Gary's mod and cfg and you're going to see a config file named mount.cfg now cfg mod um they can be edited in notepad or you can use notepad plus plus i don't have notepad plus plus on my actual computer right now so we're gonna do notepad now this is where the directory is for your mounts. Now, we're going to go in here, back into your Gary's Mod folder in the very beginning, and we're going to click CSS, the one that we renamed for the content, and we're going to copy this. And we're going to replace what is right here with that. 
Once you have done that, you're going to want to come over here to where these forward slashes are. And you're going to want to take those out. Make sure that it's not even with this right here. But you're going to want to take them forward slashes out. After that, you're going to hit file and save. Now, if we go close out of this, and I actually have to restart my Gmod. Should be good now. We'll minimize that. Go into Gary's Mod again. And we'll go into the same map. Uh, RP Downtown. Since that is one of the most common dark RP maps. And is usually one of the only game modes that you need for all these content. Th there are a couple other game modes that use it. So this will help you with those as well. But now that we have those mounted we can see all our textures everything is all there um there's no errors there's no blacked out missing spots missing textures everything is where it should be and like i said this also works for every other game mode that requires counter-strike source textures because this that pack that you downloaded includes every single texture and so on from Counter-Strike Source. That's why the file is so decently large. But anyways, that's how you mount your Counter-Strike Source if you don't. Um, if you do have Counter-Strike Source, uh, one thing I forgot to mention, if you have it downloaded in the same file or same drive... You're going to want to go into your Counter-Strike. Like, I can show you guys that here quick. If you already have Counter-Strike Source. Like, say, Counter-Strike. I'll just use Killing Fork, for example. Uh, say this is Counter-Strike's folder. You're going to do the same thing. Just, you know, copy it. Because sometimes directories, they are slightly different from what they had in that mount and you'll go back into your steam apps common gary's mod gary's mod again cfg and back into your mount and edit. and you'll just paste that directory in there and same thing as before delete the forward slashes and then save and then you're all good to go and that is how you solve your texture issues in Gary's Mod. If you like the video, leave a like. If you have any questions in regarding to this video, please leave them in the comments below. And I will try to answer them as quick as possible. Thank you. Subscribe for more. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone.